2.2 billion and again 700 million years ago were two periods in Earth history that were extremely unusual. Our planet became a giant snowball. How did Snowball Earth come about and why ultimately did it melt? This is an example of how feedbacks can destabilise as well as stabilise our climate system. If something acts to cool the planet, like the growth of continents increasing the removal of carbon dioxide by weathering, then ice cover on the planet increases. But as ice cover increases, reflectivity from the surface also increases. This reflectivity reduces the absorption of sunlight by the Earth's surface and so decreases the temperature further, which increases ice cover and so on. This produces a positive feedback that we met in week one. Usually this feedback is constrained. It amplifies the spread of ice cover away from the poles, but then the climate system restabilizes. However, if cooling is sufficient for ice cover to reach around 30 degrees of latitude, the tropics, a tipping point is reached, a point where the process of amplification of ice cover runs away. Then we get a snowball earth, with the ice closing up at the equator. 